Good day! Welcome to my class. This is Learning Reading and Writing Skills with Sir Lee. In today's video, we will be learning Part 3, Module 1, Lesson 1, which is the Paragraph Development. Alright, now I will be presenting to you two pictures. Look closely, compare, and contrast these pictures. And here they are. Now let's consider this first picture. I want you to look at it and analyze it. How do you perceive this picture? Did you get its message? Or do you even like it? How about this second picture? Do you think it portrays a clear message? I don't think so, right? Even if this painting shows subtle lines and portions of cubes, one who is not into arts and find it difficult to appreciate these kind of paintings. This is because of the painter's abstract approach to his work. Now let us try to analyze this third picture of a painting. How do you perceive it? It's clearer, right? By just simply looking at it, anyone can immediately tell that the painting is that of a woman. Her thick eyelashes, sensual red lips, and pointed contour of her nose are visible. If we are to relate these paintings to writing, would it be better if we have a clear and sound paragraph? What do we mean by a paragraph? What are its parts? That is why I will be teaching to you what are these things. Now, let's get down to business. Let's study the modes of paragraph development, its definition, and its parts. A paragraph is a group of sentences that deals with one particular idea. A paragraph is essentially a unit of thought, not of length. It is defined by the point that they support the controlling idea and not just by how long they are. A paragraph is consist of three different parts. The first one we have is the topic sentence. The topic sentence is consist of the main idea of the paragraph. The second part is the supporting details. When we say supporting details, it entails the facts, examples, or instances that elaborates or expound the main idea. In other words, supporting details support the main idea reflected in the topic sentence. The third part of a paragraph is the concluding sentence. When we say concluding sentence, it sums up the main idea of the paragraph by giving the same information in a slightly different way, perhaps by using different words or employing a similar word order. To put it short, concluding sentence reinstates the main idea reflected in the topic sentence. So, there you go. When you say a paragraph, it is consist of one singular idea and it has three different parts. The topic sentence, the supporting details, and the concluding sentence. Now, to put your knowledge on the test, let us have an exercise. What I need you to do is to develop a paragraph by observing its three different parts using this picture. And to have you guided in doing this activity, here is the rubric for rating. Please observe and follow the guidelines. Don't forget to submit your work on time and insert it in your learning kit. And I'll be checking it once I receive it. So do your best and I know you can do it. This is Learning Reading and Writing Skills with Sir Lee. See you next meeting.